Ever wondered why Bank of America seems to be on everyone's list of least favorite banks? Let's dive into the reasons behind the widespread disdain for this financial giant. Number one, why do people hate Bank of America? You've probably heard the grumbles Bank of America charged me another fee or their customer service is a nightmare. The disdain for Bank of America often stems from its reputation for high fees and subpar customer service. Imagine this, you work hard for your money and then a big chunk of it disappears due to overdraft fees or maintenance charges. Frustrating, right? Bank of America has been criticized for seeming to prioritize its profits over the well-being of its customers, leading to dissatisfaction among many. Another reason for the hate is the bank's track record with controversies. From foreclosure scandals to account errors, Bank of America has found itself in hot water multiple times. These controversies fuel the negative perceptions, making customers wary of trusting the bank with their hard-earned cash. It's no surprise that when people feel like their money isn't safe or that they're being taken advantage of, they develop a strong dislike for the institution responsible. Number two. Why does Bank of America have a bad reputation? Let's talk about reputation. Bank of America isn't exactly winning any popularity contests, and for good reason. One major factor is the unethical practices that have stained its reputation. Take, for example, the instances where Bank of America illegally accessed consumers' credit reports without permission. This breach of trust not only violated privacy but also led to consumers being unfairly charged fees. Picture this, you find out your credit score has taken a hit because a bank accessed your information without your knowledge. It's a frustrating scenario that erodes trust and adds to Bank of America's negative reputation. Moreover, these actions didn't just stop at fees. Consumers faced the arduous task of fixing errors on their credit reports, spending hours navigating the fallout of Bank of America's missteps. When a bank's actions directly impact its customers' financial well-being in such a negative way, it's no wonder people develop a deep-seated dislike for the institution. Now that you've watched this video this far, I want to inform you that we are giving away a free $100 to one of you, our viewers, when we reach 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe to stand a chance to win. And as always, thanks for watching.